Good. It, it's great to be here. Uh, you know, I was here this time last year, uh, the day of the session, and I told you then that we had an aggressive uh, agenda, that we were going to push for pro-job legislation. We were all focused on the private sector, and, and I think we did that. Uh, case in point, uh, a recent study listed Alabama as having the second fastest growing economy in the entire country. And I attribute that to a number of things, but it has to be part of it to the legislation that we passed and just the atmosphere that we have and the mindset that we have in the legislature that we have uh, a, a pro-private sector oriented legislature that understands that we have to maintain a pro-business climate in the state of Alabama and we're going to continue to do that. Now the first law that we will pass, the first bill that we will pass before anything else is the payback of the trust fund. And I know that a number of you were very helpful in the passage of that uh, referendum in September and I appreciate that. It was the right thing to do. And I believe in large part it was passed overwhelmingly because the leadership of the legislature, including the governor, uh, made it very clear that we intended to pay every penny of that dime back. Well, again, we're going to do what we said we're going to do. The first bill that will pass the House, and uh, I know uh, from speaking to the pro tem it will pass the Senate, Senate on to the governor, will be a bill that uh, requires that we pay every dime of money uh, from the trust fund back. And uh, I assure you that will happen. I, I believe the Alabama taxpayers deserve to have the strongest economy possible. And, and that means making it a business-friendly state. Uh, we're fighting uh, the president, the administration, we're fighting uh, his congressional allies, but um, we dare defend our rights to free enterprise. We are, uh, part of our agenda will be the 21st Century Workforce Act, which will strengthen the state's investment in career tech. I believe that's very important. Our members believe it's very important. Well, as you know, we need welders, we need diesel mechanics, we need plumbers, we need electricians, and we're going, to, um, we're going to work with the Department of Education, but we're also going to pass legislation that provides career tech for every high school to make sure it's seamless. And I believe, personally, that the dropout rate that we have in the state of Alabama, which is 40%, totally unacceptable, totally unacceptable. It has a lot to do with the fact that kids don't, they know they're not college material, they have no interest in going to college, and they see no reason to stay in school. Now, if we have career tech, and we have someone in the ninth grade or tenth grade saying, well, have you ever thought about being a welder? Have you ever thought about being a diesel mechanic? 100% job placement, and in some jobs you start making $70,000 a year. It, it's going to be a fun session. Um, it's, it's, we're going to get a lot of substantive things done this session. I can promise you that. Um, we, uh, we're obviously, as I said, pro-business. Um, I'm proud to be a member of the legislature right now. I believe that we have good, solid people in place who are down here for the right reasons and uh, proud of our leadership team and uh, I can tell you that we are united in what we believe is the right thing to do and uh, despite the fact that some of the votes are heavy lifts and we've asked them to make heavy lifts over the last two years they have never failed to come through. Thank you very much I appreciate you uh, being here and look forward to the session.